Hey, uh, it is the 23rd of the 2nd, 2016, and I apologize for my absence on the internet. I know in my last video I said I was going to make some videos about racial identity, and I have made those videos, but then my opinions change and I read more and I learn more, and I'm just not quite ready to upload yet. But I'm making them, and I promise you they're in the works. Um, but today I wanted to make a video about having high testosterone that converts into estrogen. Um, because I've heard a lot of people talk about that being a possibility, but I've not heard many people talk about that actually happening to them. So I wanted to make a video about that. So for anyone who's been following me, um, you know that I was on a very low dose of testosterone for the first six months and then on a half dose or a, still quite a low dose for another six months. So I spent my first year on HRT being on, sorry, being on a very low dose. Um, I was frustrated with the lack of changes. So I went to see a specialist um, and he suggested that I take double the amount that I was taking. So in Australia, we get prescribed primoteston, which is one milliliter of testosterone. And I was injecting the full milliliter every two weeks. And I was doing that for about three months. And I felt pretty good. Like I didn't, honestly, I didn't notice any significant emotional changes. I definitely noticed that I grew a lot more facial hair, my legs got hairier, um, body fat redistribution. And I was really happy with those changes for about a month. I felt like quite rapidly things were changing and I was like, yep, cool, I'm on the right path now. But maybe the last two to three months, I noticed that they really dropped off, which kind of worried me, but I also thought that might've just been, you know, things don't change steadily. They There's an ebb and a flow to this. It's, it's not an exact science. So I just sort of thought I was going through a lull and didn't think about it. Um, and then I was at a lover's house one day, went to the bathroom and realized that I was bleeding, which concerned me because my menstrual cycle had stopped for about nine months. Um, so I made a doctor's appointment, told him what was happening, and he said that this was not what they would um, expect at this point in my medical transition. And the level of testosterone that I was on and how long I'd been on it. So he sent me for blood work. Uh, that blood work came back and said that my levels of T were extremely high, um, which made him suspect that that testosterone was converting into estrogen, which thus was what was creating me to have my menstrual, cy menstrual cycle again, which is frustrating, <laughs> but you know, these things happen. Uh, so basically what I'd noticed was, I mean, apart from the menstrual cycle happening is I'd noticed a lot more acne, but I had um, contributed that to testosterone. Um, he said that there was a possibility I'd be feeling more emotional and more erratic, but to be honest, I didn't necessarily feel that way. Um, and I wonder if maybe that's a myth of like, if you have predominant estrogen in your system, it can be more emotional. Um, but I didn't actually feel that. I, I mean, I felt a bit more sad than usual, but again, I, I, ha I live with anxiety and depression, so I, I also attributed a lot of those feelings to a mental illness, not to my transition. Um, so the result of this, this high testosterone um, has meant that I have to cut back my dose. So now I'm on a milliliter every three weeks rather than every two weeks for six weeks. And then I'll go back and get my blood work done. And if that has stabilized into the, for lack of better word, normal, male, whatever, range, um, if that has stabilized into what they see as accept an acceptable range, I will be able to switch my dose to Reandron, which is a, a, sh a slow releasing shot every three months, 12 weeks. Um, and I'm really hoping for that because less needles always benefit and also it's a regulated dose so they give you they give everybody the same dose and that will regulate naturally within your system not trying to pick this kind of arbitrary figure that they, they can't really work out. 
So I'm hoping that is what the result is, but I guess I want to make a video because people often say, you know, if you up your dose when you shouldn't and you take too much tea, this will happen and you'll feel, you know, pretty fucked. But I actually feel like it was very easy to be on a very high dose of testosterone and not really notice. Um, I thought that if this was happening to me, that I would notice a lot of physical changes and a lot of physical um, side effects of being on high tea. But to, your, to be honest, I didn't actually notice or suspect that my tea was too high, except for the menstrual cycle. And often I was having night sweats, and that was one thing that I'd been concerned about. Maybe my tea was too high, because at night time I had these really bad night sweats. Um, but again, I guess I attributed that to being more sweaty because of testosterone. It's also summer in Australia, like, today was 42 degrees, like, night sweat seemed normal. Um, so it was really hard to distinguish what was testosterone and what was environment. Um, so yeah, I guess I just wanted to kind of say that, like, you should get your T levels checked, even if... Um, you don't feel erratic because you can actually have very high testosterone and not realize it as I did. Um, and also, like, it's not great in terms of me wanting to have physical changes, but actually being predominantly estrogen based because of the conversion of the testosterone. Um, obviously, that is affecting my changes, um, which is not what I want. So, hopefully, lowering it will somehow give me more changes because my testosterone levels will be within the, the right range that will not convert. Um, I'm sorry this video was not what I said I was going to upload and maybe it's not the most articulate video because I don't necessarily know the medical reasons behind this but I just wanted to say what my experience was and if you even suspect that you have high testosterone or high anything if you're doing HIT then go and get your levels checked because I feel like in the long term it's better to know what's happening with your body um, so that you can make changes, so that you can get the changes and the transition that you want. Cool. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope everyone's awesome. Bye.